Hey guys, I'm out here at the Battle of Camden site here in South Carolina. Um, there's not a whole lot out here. Um, I just happened to see the sign. I left the truck stop this morning. I really wasn't planning on doing anything today at all, really. I wasn't planning on visiting or, or taking pictures, really, or doing anything. But anyway, I left the truck stop, got off at the, the Camden exit, and I happened to see Battle of Camden site. So I thought, oh, battlefield or battleground, kind of. So I'll go visit, I thought. Anyway, I'm out here now and there's nothing out here. <laughs> there really is nothing out here. It's just a bunch of trees. Anyway, there's another site up the road, also part of uh, Camden. Anyway, there's not really anything there. I'm gonna go down there in a minute though, you know, and then explore a little bit. Um, I, I, I overshot it and didn't make the turn, pulled into a church and I wasn't sitting there no time maybe 10 minutes i was going through my pictures having to clear off some of my uh pictures and some of the videos on my phone because i'm running out of room anyway not long at all here comes somebody they just park down to at the end of the driveway to the church and just sit there um that's happened before i really hate that people i don't know people you know they see someone pull into the churchyard they must sit there and, and, and they must sit at home. It's kind of noisy out here. Anyway, um, they must sit at home in front of their video cameras or their surveillance cameras and just watch. Uh, the, uh, like they have no life. I mean, undoubtedly, they, they just have no life. Um, anyway, it wasn't long. I wasn't sitting there that long. Maybe five minutes, maybe ten before I noticed that someone was sitting in, in a parked car at the end of the driveway so I decided to leave I was going to take some pictures of the church and of, of the graveyard as well I, re I really wanted to um I noticed that I was going through some of my videos and I noticed that um some of my videos aren't coming out the way I had thought they would after I viewed them on YouTube and then I realized that the early videos I was using filmmaker and now I'm using my own camera to, to to combine the videos anyway anyway that said um i wasn't there long and i decided well i'll just leave um i'm gonna uh you know there's nothing here so i'm gonna go back to the car walk down to the other side i don't know if there's a walking trail or not it's getting a little late so i don't want to do too much walking and then when i leave there i'll probably head back to the church take my pictures go in the graveyard take my pictures and, and a little video if i want and do that then um i'm sure by i'm sure in a few minutes these people will be gone i mean they're, now that i'm gone they're not gonna have any reason to stick around so i will head back down there after i stop at the next camden site and then probably take a few pictures you know because i really like graveyards i've i've told i've talked about this before i i absolutely love graveyards anyway um don't know why it's i, I don't it's not morbid i just really like them i find them really peaceful don't have to deal with anyone. Anyway, anyway, I'm going to turn you guys around and let you see what's going on out here because there is nothing. I want to make sure you're away from my car, though. I don't want to, no sense in looking at that. Well, as you can see, there's nothing out here. Just woods, trees. Woods and trees, that's it. And I was, I thought maybe this was a walking trail. I could walk down it. Not that I'd want to do much walking. I'm in flip-flops. But I thought maybe, you know, maybe I could walk. Anyways, well, you can't. It says private property down there. So, anyway. Okay, I'm headed down to the other Camden site. See, here we go. Private property. I'm not going to trespass on this. The guy's even put some logs up in front, like three logs, I guess, to keep people from driving. And then if you go over here and look, he put something else up there to kind of uh, lock it off. I doubt seriously this goes to anyone's house. Anyway, I'm headed down to the other site now. 
Okay guys, I'm out here at the second uh, little stop for the Battle of Camden. This one looks a little more interesting. Looks like there might be a walking trail. Let's see. Huh, okay. All right, I'm going to head down here. Looks like there's a little walking trail out here. And I'm going, not going, I was smart this time. I decided to put on my um, tennis shoes yesterday or the day before. I think it was yesterday or something. I ended up... Yeah, it was yesterday after walking in the Rembert Church, I was like, my feet were just absolutely uh, crappy and dirty. Flip-flops I'm wearing are just cheap things I got at the Dollar Tree, so, oops, 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 don't want to do that. I haven't been able to find anything from, any anything at Walmart yet. Okay, here looks like the walking trail. There's a couple of them. So I'm going to take off down through here. Uh, okay, so I'm going to take off down through here and... I wonder what that's supposed to be. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to take off down through here and take a walk. Okay, I'm out here and there is three trails that I can walk down. I'm not sure. That one goes up toward the road and I think it might hook up to the one that's up in the front. So I think I'll take the middle one. I thought I'd sit down here on this bench a minute. It's kind of hot. Not as hot as it's going to be in two months, though. But anyway, thought I'd sit down here, share a few things. Um, I'm getting ready to leave here. I'm going to walk uh, around the site just a, just a little bit more. And then I'm going to probably head down to the church and then to down to Camden and get something to eat, probably Subway. If I end up where I want to be tonight, I'll be back in Great Falls. I was there a few nights ago, and I ended up coming back here because I wanted to do a video at the Rembert Church, um, which I'd been to before, which I talked about in the last video. Anyway, um, I'm here. I'm on the tail end of my trip. I'm not going to be, um, I'm right at the tail end. I've only got a few more days, maybe, maybe three, four days, five at the most, before I head back to North Carolina. I have my first physical therapy appointment next mm, a week, like eight days from, or nine days, nine days from today. Um, I have a doctor's appointment uh, seven days from today. I'm still suffering with a urinary tract infection. I have went through two runs of antibiotics. I can't seem to get rid of it, so I'm going back to the doctor for that. Hopefully they can give me something that will clear it up. Anyway... Um, and after that, you know, I'm, I'm not going to have a lot of time to really do anything between physical therapy, doctor's appointments. Um, they haven't scheduled me for my first MRI yet. Uh, there's also a few other things I need to do. Um, there's still a few things I haven't even put into this car yet that came out of the other car fr from the accident. I, uh, there's still a few things I haven't even, uh, done um, I still got some clothes I need to, I guess, wash and 
um, a mask. There's just a few things, you know, that have come out of the other car that I haven't even uh, organized and put in this car, the things I need. Um, not long. It's not going to be long. Maybe a few, two, just maybe, maybe another month. And I'm going to have to get out my summer, storm all my winter stuff, my pants and long sleeve shirts and jackets and whatnot in, in the house. And then I pick out my capris and my summer stuff. Um, I normally, I think I've said this before, I normally just, I wear tank tops and things all year round. So that won't, that'll be pretty much the same. Anyway, um, that's about it. I'm going to, um, you know, be storing some of my winter stuff, having to organize that, store my winter stuff away. I also need to get some organization going in the house. I don't have any place to put my stuff and I've I've show, showed you guys that on another video but anyway it's a complete mess with nothing bags everywhere it's just a it's just a real mess I don't have a chest of drawers in this house um because I'm not at this house all the time I'm only at this house when I'm in in North Carolina for um for business which I'm I'm gonna be I will actually be in North Carolina until the end of May, I have some business at the end of May, and then I have to go back to Concord or Charlotte, Charlotte area, Concord, at the end of June for the court date where I was rear-ended by the tractor trailer, so I got that coming up, so that'll be like towards the end of June, and then, you know what, I'm not going to have a lot of time to go on any longer trips, I, I wanted, I, this year, since I just bought this car, I wanted to maybe head go further. I wanted to maybe uh, go back to Michigan this year, maybe even Wisconsin, Minnesota this year, but I don't think that's going to happen this year either because I've just got so much that I have to do. I've got doctor's appointments. I've, I'll have physical therapy, um, business in May, a court date for the accident at the end of June, um, and then let's see. Probably by July, I'm going to have some more business in North Carolina I have to take care of. So I've just got business, just like basically business meeting after business meeting pretty much all through the summer, into the fall. I don't know how much longer that's, that's going to go on. Anyway, um, and then of course, uh, I have not went back to work yet, but I will be having to go back to work. So I'm kind of... I'm kind of really I'm kind of at the tail end of the last trip I'm going to have probably until uh the end of um probably end of June anyway I see my phone's about to die it's getting weak on the battery so I'm going to stop for now and hopefully hook back up with you guys when I get down to the church I'm back in my car now um my phone's charging before I left, I decided to um, walk another little trail called uh, Longleaf Forest. Uh, it was just a really like 0.2 mile uh, trail, not very long at all. Um, it's getting kind, of, it's getting a little later, it's seven o'clock. I want to head down to the church now. Anyway, the Longleaf Forest um, in 1780, it it was actually 90 million acres that spanned from southeastern Virginia to Texas. Now, today, only 3% of that ecosystem actually exists. Um, in the name of technological advances like the railroad and, thing, and things like that, um, many of the pines were, were completely decimated by railroad workers and such. Anyway, there's not a whole lot of this ecosystem still left, only 3%. It actually reminds me of kind of where I grew up in Florida. I actually grew up in South Florida, but my dad had property in the next county. I was in, I grew up in Palm Beach County, was born and raised in Palm Beach County, and my dad had property up in Martin County, um, Stewart area, which, and it, and it kind of reminds me, this little area right here in Camden, it reminds me of, of, of that, where I grew up or, or where my, my dad had his property. Um, the Camden side is actually eight miles outside of Camden, off of coming in off of U.S. Highway 521. That's how I found it. I took, I think, exit uh, 98 off of I-20 to to get to it. And then there are signs for it. I think in da right before you get to downtown, there are signs. 
and then boom, you know, you come right to it. So real easy to find. I didn't think it, and it's eight miles. It's eight, it's eight miles from, I think, the, uh, as soon as you get off the uh, interstate, I th it might be downtown. I think there's a, you go through town or pass a food line. Oh, anyway, that's if, you know, someone wants to come, they can, you can Google it, whatever, map it. Anyway, it's getting late. It's about seven o'clock, and I think I'm going to uh, get myself uh, something to eat from Subway and then head to my next stop, which if I end up where I think I'm going to end up, it will be back at the truck stop in Great Falls. But first, I'm going to go down here to the church and get a few pictures and, you know, just take a few pictures of the graveyard. As I said before, I really like graveyards, so that's really, that's one of my things. I know, sounds kind of morbid, but it's just one of my things. I find them very peaceful, so I'm getting ready to head down there now. Um, and that's a, that's, that's about it for now. Like I said earlier, I'm at the tail end of my trip. I've only got a few days, and I'm not going to have a lot this summer. I, I really wanted to go back toward maybe Minnesota, maybe even further, but with all the business I have to take care of, and I'll... I'll, by then I'll probably be, I'll be back working. I just won't be able to. Um, I'm hoping I can take a few shorter trips though, maybe to, I know last year I went to Tennessee and I really wasn't pleased. Um, at least not the area of Tennessee I was in. It was just way, way too hot. But Virginia is not bad. Now, last year I went to Pennsylvania in, um, in May. I went to Pennsylvania in May and came back and Still had probably pl not plenty of time. I was right up there at the at the at the because I I had a a, an, a meeting or an appointment like at the first of July, and when I got back, I was right up there within just pretty close, pretty close. But I made it. I got went to Pennsylvania, and I didn't rush myself or anything. I took U.S. Highway 11 uh, all the way, and then I took it all the way back. In fact, I as I I said, I think in another video. I made it to about 100 miles outside of New York, so, and I did that in about six weeks, so that was, you know, May, maybe five, six weeks, so I had plenty of time. Um, one of the things that um, I'm thinking now, I, I know if I went as far as Minnesota or Wisconsin, Minnesota, or even the Dakotas, it would be longer than six weeks, and I have to time it so that I can hit each meeting that I, you know, each, each, each meeting, each work, each appointment. Um, I don't even know if I'll still be in physical therapy. I may be, I may be in physical therapy all, all, all summer. And, and that's, oh, uh, that's going to suck. So that's especially going to suck in the summertime, really going to suck. Um, because I, I, and I have a thing, usually I travel north in the summer and south in the winter. So, like, when it starts to get about October, starts to cool down, get a little cooler, I start heading south, like South Carolina, Georgia, uh, even Florida. And, you know, and, of course, I can easily make it to uh, North Carolina, to Florida, you know, six weeks, eight, you know, if, if I've got, like, a six-week window, I could easily, I mean, I can make it to Florida in, like, a couple days. So, I mean, I mean... Really, you can make it to Florida in, in like a few hours, but I, I don't like to move really fast, so I like to make a lot of, few stops along the way. But when I go to Florida, I don't usually do that. I just jam down there and then take it slow on the way back. Um, I do have one, maybe one trip I'm thinking I might be able to make, and I'm hoping I can make that. It is, I think, 800 miles from where I live on the Outer Banks. It's around 800 miles to Walcott, Iowa, and that's to the Iowa 80, lar Iowa 80 truck stop, largest truck stop in the world. So I am kind of thinking I might, if I'm lucky, be able to do that one because I know that I mapped it already and it's like I'll, I'll go through Indiana. I really like Indiana. There's nothing there, but I kind of like it. And then I'll hit Illinois and then I'll hit Iowa. And there's, you know, and there's only about, once I hit think Peoria, Illinois, I'm, I'm looking, I, I'm looking from Indianapolis, I think it's 300 miles, 300 miles to Walcott, so it's not a bad, not a bad drive, um, I could definitely do, that's definitely doable, um, and I can probably do it in five or six weeks, and be able to make my, make each appointment, I, I, I each appointment, provided I'm not still in physical therapy, 
and having to go through physical therapy like once a week or twice a week because right now I may be in physical therapy for the next few months and if I am I don't know how long I'm going to be in physical therapy and I know I need it I know I need it so it's going to really cut away a lot of travels I, I wanted to do this year especially this year in this car uh, I just got it you know I'm really excited you know to take it out on its first really long road trip but I don't know that I'll get to do that and I may have to settle for a few littler, littler trips like, you know, like Kentucky. You know, Kentucky's like five hours. There's a couple places in Kentucky I like to visit. It's like five hours away. West Virginia, it's only about four hours. So we're talking like a few hours away. So it's, it's not that many miles. We're talking like 300 miles. So not that, no big deal. Anyway, um, I'm going to stop rambling from, for now. I do I do tend to talk a lot, ramble a lot, talk about a lot of stuff that probably anyway that I'm not to that bridge yet as my mom would say so I'm not going to talk about that yet I'm hoping that I do get to go to Walcott Iowa this year I'm hoping I may not uh if not I'm going to have to find something else of interest that was on my bucket list but I'll just have to find something else to travel to take pictures of and I love to I can find lots of things to take pictures of so anyway but I've, I've been to Tennessee and Kentucky and Virginia many many times West Virginia I've been to all these places many times now I did tip Indiana last year when I went to actually that was another trip that was a totally separate trip I was in my I was in one car when I went to Pennsylvania and then I was in my focus the one that was wrecked when I went to Indiana uh, and I I was like out of Kentucky it was like Kentucky and Indiana, but, and that was pretty interesting. Anyway, I'm going to head down to the church now, stop, I'm going to stop rambling and head down to the church now. Okay, I'm out here in another beautiful graveyard, um, church and graveyard, uh, name of it's Parker's Baptist Church. I think it's off US 520, US 521, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, the backdrop of the sun, well, that's actually the east, but shining over there is really, really pretty. Kind of dead looking out here, you know, except for a few little trees and things. Here to the back of the graveyard. Okay, here's the uh, mid portion of the graveyard. This is kind of where I started. Started up here with this beautiful, these beautiful pink, this beautiful pink bush. It's really pretty. A lot of bees in it, I noticed. A lot of bees over here in this other pink one, too. There's also a lot of uh, ant beds out here, too. Of course, it's, uh, it's South Carolina, so, or the low country, rather. another minute. Sorry, I'm just muttering to myself. I was saying it's up to another minute, which I'm not too uh, hip on. Okay, here's the front of the church. which I didn't really start at. I kind of just made a mental note of what I wanted to pho photograph.
Okay, here's the um, side of the church. Looks like there's some bugs flying in front of the limbs. We'll go up here to the front. And not move too fast. Because I know that kind of shakes the, the camera a little bit. And I don't like that. So here we go. We're at the front. And then, of course, you go over here to the side. And there's um a whole lot of... More woods, kind of like down at Camden. I noticed all the ant beds down there. Hi, here's a couple of slideshows one of the church and one of some flowers. Hey guys, here's a, a video slideshow of a little bee that's in, in the flowers, uh, pollinating the flowers, I assume. Anyway, um, some pretty pink flowers out in the graveyard here at Parker's Baptist Church, and there's a little bee in, in the flower, er, on the flowers. Okay, um, I'm back. Here's a slideshow of the of the um, graveyard. Uh, of course, there's video too, but I, I like to include my pictures as well because I, I, I really prefer still photos over video when it comes to, you know, video pictures. But of course, it's, it's YouTube, so it's more video. But anyway, here's a, a, a small slideshow of the graveyard. Okay, here's a slideshow of some trees and nature surrounding the church. Hey guys, um, I made it to my next stop. Uh, I'm at another truck stop. I didn't want to uh, keep staying at the truck stop I was at. I'd already been there about four days and um it was it was not a not a bad one but they it's under construction right now so it was just really really hectic anyway um really really extremely busy during the day at nighttime though not so much and the area that i was parking in was uh, pretty pretty desolate there wouldn't there wasn't really any vehicles out there and for a couple nights there was a, a van there um some guy, some guy, or somebody in a transit, transit van. So I, I felt a little better. But then last night he let he or she left. So and it was pretty desolate, nobody out there. So I, I felt a little. It was okay, wasn't bad, but I still felt a little uncomfortable. 
anyway, um, I like to be closer to other vehicles, you know, not too close, but close enough. Anyway, um, to get to this other truck stop is actually 33 miles away and I couldn't take the interstate. I ended up taking a route that I really did not want to take and that was, oh, my shoulder's itching. Anyway, that was across um, South Carolina 97 going straight through Liberty Hill and I, I talked about this in another video. I went through there once before. It was during the, during the day though, not at night. And it was extremely, um, I got a really, really bad feeling going through there. Really, really negative. Very, very, felt a very heaviness, dark dread, you know, a lot of dark energy. And, uh, I, I you know, and, and I, I don't know. Anyway, and I've been back like twice. I went back the very next day. And then I went back again here a, f a few days ago where I, and I, I have another video out where I did that one. Um, where I revisited Liberty Hill, and I didn't feel anything, but regardless, excuse me, regardless, I, I really wasn't, um, I didn't want to travel, I didn't want to go through Liberty Hill to get to this area, but it was the shortest distance, it, re it really was. There was another route which would have tacked on almost 10 miles, but it was, again, it wasn't going down the interstate, it was just taking another route, so another highway, so it, it really wasn't much difference. Anyway, I'm here, I'm safe and sound, and I'm getting tired, and I need to eat, I haven't eaten all day. Anyway, um, again, I'm safe and sound, I, I, it's not something that I wanted to do, and it's not something I really recommend. Anyway, but to get here, I did, it was 33 miles, it was a very, very desolate area, so, but there was a fair, uh, more traffic than there was back in January when I was here. So, you know, when I was in Liberty Hill. So it wasn't so bad. Um, anyway, um, I'm going to wrap up for now. Um, uh, I'm going to wrap up. I got to get something. I got to go in the truck stop. And uh, I already, I've got food with me. I was, when I was in Camden, I was going to go find a subway. But then it was getting, it was getting late and I decided not to do that. I decided it was better and safer for me to get it because it was only eight o'clock and it wasn't quite dark. I decided it was better and safer to get over here to the other, over here where I'm at now, as opposed to, um, you know, driving on, on the, cause I driving on the, driving on that desolate highway and there wasn't a lot of traffic. And as it gets later, there'll be less, uh, a bigger possibility of hitting a deer. I've hit, a, I've hit deer twice. I, that's not something I want to do. Anyway, um, I, I have food with, I have a little food, so I figured I'll be okay. You know, I got it. Um, I'm not going to probably buy anything in the truck stop, just get something to drink. I have a tuna. I have some, you know, some tu couple tuna pouches and a banana, you know, and a few grapes left over. And a little bit of bread, so you know I, I got food, potato chips, you know I, I got I got crackers, you know, a granola bar. Um, anyway, um, my light just went out, so I'm gonna call it a night. Um, have a good night, good day, God bless, peace.